Good morning, good morning, God bless you. It is Monday, February 1st, 2021. Pray that you guys are doing well. Some of y'all are already at work. Some of y'all are on your way to work like I am. Some of y'all are barely waking up. Regardless of where you at or what you're doing, man, God bless you. I speak peace over your household. Man, I just want to talk to you about pride, about being prideful. Now, I'm not talking about the kind of pride you feel like when you when your baby's born or when when your baby boy, you know what I mean, scores a touchdown or, or you know what I mean kid gets an A or you know what I mean they, they, they do something awesome I'm not talking about that kind of pride I'm not talking about you know that kind of you know when you feel proud like that I'm talking about the kind of pride that blinds you I'm talking about the kind of pride that makes you foolish talking about the kind of pride that just flat out has us in denial because we're too <laughs> we're too prideful to admit the truth so many times oh my goodness So many times we go through life with blinders on, like we flat out, okay, like pride will flat out just have you pretty much, you know, just put your hands over your eyes, just bumping into stuff, hurting yourself. And people will let you know, like, dude, take your hands off your eyes. Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. You're bumping into stuff. You're running into walls like you're just hurting yourself. It's cool. I got it. Like, that's how foolish we look when we choose to be prideful. Like, we just flat out, like, just pretty much willingly just walk around with our hands over our eyes. Pride has the ability to completely blind us. A lot of us will choose not to forgive. We will hold on unto unforgiveness in our hearts because we're proud a lot of us don't even know how to apologize we don't even know how to say sorry not even to our own family members not even to you know what I mean the people that we consider our best friend or, or, or you know what I mean like we can't even say I'm sorry we can't even acknowledge the fact that we messed up because we're so prideful The jacked up part about it, a lot of us can be drowning. I'm talking completely drowning in our sorrows, completely drowning in pain, completely drowning. I'm talking just, I mean, you're, you're on your tippy toes jumping and you still won't even ask for help because you're so prideful because you can't admit that you're hurting because you can't admit that you're weak, that you're not as strong as you pretend to be. And for what? For those of you who are moms and dads, like, do you not understand? Like, what are we going to do? Allow our marriages to fail just because we won't admit that I would, you were wrong? Heck no, I'm not going to admit I was wrong. I would rather let my marriage fail. I would rather destroy my whole family before I admit I'm wrong. Like, does that even make sense? I would, I would rather let all my relationships just get flushed down the toilet. I don't even care. I'd rather be alone the rest of my life before I admit that I did something wrong. 
Does that even make sense? Pride has the ability to completely destroy your life. Pride will end up giving you a victim mentality. Instead of just admitting, dang, I don't have it all together. Like, man, I don't, you know what I mean? I just, I don't, I don't know. I need help. Nope. We would rather be prideful. And the jacked up part about it is, it's like, most of us don't even realize when we're being, when we're being prideful. Like if you're overwhelmed with life and you won't even talk to anybody about it, you're probably dealing with pride. If you can't even apologize to a family member, you can't even apologize to somebody when you mess up, you can't even admit like your part in it, you're probably dealing with pride. If you're in a marriage and the only thing that you're worried about, like you, your concern ain't even like your husband or your wife, your concern ain't even like, man, what's best for our marriage? The only thing that you're concerned with is proving your point and standing your ground. You're probably dealing with pride. Like we are completely burning everything down in our path. All because we won't admit that we don't have it all together. Please understand that there's nobody here on earth that has it all together. There's nobody. What do you have to lose? Now, I understand. You know what I mean? Again, I'm not trying to belittle nobody's situation. I understand sometimes, you know, we end up in uh, some bad predicaments. You end up in some, you know, bad relationships where you're not appreciated and you get treated like garbage. I get all that. I get it. I get it. But still, what are we going to do? Allow somebody to completely ruin our lives and completely ruin who we are to the point that we're just miserable in here and have no peace of mind, no peace in our heart. And we're just completely just, it makes no sense. Please understand what I'm talking about. Because the jacked up part about it is that somebody that is dealing with pride is going to take this and, and, and make it something that it's not. I could probably bet money that I'm going to go back and read the comments. And there'll, there'll probably be one or two comments of people trying to justify why it is that they're prideful. And why it is that they don't need to apologize to somebody. I'm driving right now, so I can't read the comments if you are leaving comments. Like, I understand, like, this ain't, you know what I mean? This ain't popular, this ain't, you know what I mean? Like, most people would consider this, you know, to be not encouraging. But I'm encouraging you, before you ruin your marriage, before you ruin your life, before you you hand over this nasty burden to your children of, how, you know, being prideful, can't even show no emotion. It's a horrible life. I know before I came to Christ, I was extremely prideful. And if I allow myself, you know what I mean? If I give myself enough slack, it still bubbles up. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like, oh, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm perfect. No, no, no. Catch me slipping. Catch me on an off day. And, and, and you know what I mean? You'll see that pride trying to bubble up. Let me go without reading the Bible for a few days. Let me go without, you know what I mean? Let me get distracted with the things of life. And all of a sudden, I'll start feeling entitled.
man, I just encourage you for, 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 for your benefit, for the sake of your marriage, for the sake of your children, man, for the sake of, man, for the sake of your peace of mind. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. Admit to God. You know what I mean? Even though he already knows. Admit to God that you don't have it all together. Father God, I need you. If you can't admit it to another person, at least admit it to God. Allow him to start dealing with those issues in your heart. Allow him to start cleansing you. My heart is heavy with this. I ain't trying to be a Debbie Downer. If there's a Debbie on here, sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, Lord. Please help us, Father God. Help us to be honest with ourselves. Help us to be honest with you, Lord. Help us to realize and understand that we don't have to do this alone. Help us to understand that we don't have it all together like we think we do. Please help us to understand how much it is that you love us. Help us to understand how much it is that you love us and you want to help us, Lord. Save us from ourselves, Father God. Save us from ourselves. Man, I love you guys. I pray that you guys have a good day. I pray that this... Man, if it makes you uncomfortable, I pray that it makes you uncomfortable. I pray that it leads you in the right direction. For real. If you want to remain, you know what I mean? If you're dealing with pride and you want to remain in that same, you know what I mean? Place of no peace. That's up to you. We all got a choice to make. But I pray that you humble yourself. I pray that you turn to God and ask him for help. If you got somebody that's close to you, man, ask for help. If you're a mom or a dad and you got children that, you know what I mean? Like, regardless, ever we all got somebody. We all have somebody around us. You know what I mean? We all have somebody that looks up to us. We all got somebody that is, you know what I mean? Being impacted by us. A lot of us feel like, you know, like being humble is weak. Like if I humble myself, that'll make me weak. Go ahead and try it. I dare you. And you'll see how much more strength is needed to be humble than it is to be prideful. I dare you. A lot of us feel like being humble is, is weak. Like meekness is, is no, oh, that, that, that's little sissy stuff. Go ahead and try it. And see which one's easier. A lot of us, we prideful and we think we tough. We think we're strong. Try being humble. And let's see how tough you are. Anyways. I love you guys. I pray that you guys have a good day. God bless you.